The Falcon and the Winter Soldier follows Avengers Endgame from the point of view of Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson, Captain America's best buddies. And this series has a lot of the themes from the previous Captain America movies, and it puts a little twist in it in, a, in its own way. And it introduces a lot of different elements that uh, answer a lot of questions in the MCU that we didn't uh, even see getting addressed. This series is also a very interesting look into what Marvel is capable of doing with a longer series as opposed to two-hour movies, which give us a lot more time to get to know these characters, to kind of like dive into their lives. Um, I mentioned in my review of WandaVision like how the uh, eight-hour, six-hour uh, runtime of these series is a little bit, like gives us more time to do that, exactly that, like get to know these characters, just basically dive deeper and that is something I really enjoyed in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier and also because it answers questions about the Marvel Cinematic Universe's world itself. So the series is called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier but it feels more like a Falcon series. I wish I would have seen Bucky uh, in the spotlight a little bit more. I, I mean he gets his scenes he definitely I don't think the series did him dirty with uh, like the writing or any of that. I think his arc was well and it, it actually covers a lot of things especially like his retreat in Wakanda which gets addressed but I just wish that uh, Bucky got a little bit more uh, attention because like all of the plot kind of shift towards uh, Falcon uh, Sam Wilson's story which you know it's okay I mean you can't really have like equal uh, exactly perfectly equal screen time for both of them and like writing and stuff but I still I would have enjoyed to like see more uh, of these two characters um, equally. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about minor spoilers. Um, so basically the plot is, uh, we all saw at the end of Avengers Endgame that Captain America basically retired and gave his shield to Sam and basically told him, here, it's yours. And in this series, Sam gives up the shield, he gives it back to the government, and we get introduced to a new character, which is John Walker, who basically becomes the new Captain America in a way, kind of like a... Uh, pseudo Captain America and post by the government and nobody likes it. Uh, the viewers didn't. I mean, it, it was uh, good for the plot. Like that's uh, like I'm not trying to say he's a bad character. I thought actually I thought that Sam, like John Walker was an excellent character. Actually, I think Wyatt Russell did an excellent job with John Walker. I think the point of the character was to make the audience dislike him in a way, but it's still so captivating to see like the somebody trying to fill in the shoes of, of a, such an iconic uh, hero in this universe and basically trying his best and failing in some ways and things get really intense especially towards uh, episode four and that's something we see during the series like I think uh, John Walker's development is was one of the most interesting things of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So let's talk about the interactions between Bucky and Sam. I think Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie did an excellent job but I felt like their interactions especially towards the beginning like their tension felt kind of forced that's something that I didn't like about the series but after that like the way they team up and uh like come together to solve uh like this uh conspiracy all across the world was great like that plot with them was great and there were um great characters i think the series did a great job with both of them and the plot was super interesting so i think the plot the main conflict of the falcon and the winter soldier was the best part about the series it basically answers a big question about avengers endgame that i felt didn't get addressed was what happens when you bring uh 3.5 billion people back to earth like after everything just like everybody was like okay people died yeah half the population disappeared and then basically everybody gets like reappears it is just such a well i don't know i'm not gonna agree with thanos or anything but i'm just saying like this was it, was, it wasn't a smart idea uh, a smart decision to do especially with all the like uh, social effects it had within this universe so yeah the plot follows like this international terrorist named carly which um i think the actress did a good job but the character itself wasn't as interesting as i wish she could have been but still i think the the whole th thing that drive the conflict uh like her trying to get attention to like the social political themes that the falcon and the winter soldier covers was uh they were great and honestly this uh series uh, like balanced a lot of different things and i think like given all the material it had to squeeze into six episodes i think it did a good, great job the secondary characters were also great uh the series brings back uh, sharon carter and baron simo from uh captain america civil war and uh, they were great 
great. I think Sharon Carter uh, got a lot more attention, screen time, and character development this time around. Uh, I was a little disappointed too in Baron Simo's role. I mean, he was good in a lot of scenes. I think the character itself is amazing. Like he was so terrifying in Civil War, and th like that's why I was kind of disappointed in uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Daniel Brohl did an excellent job with him. Um, well, my main issue with Simo was that he didn't really get as much action, like with the mask on, like the iconic character design that we see in like Captain America comics. So I actually kind of expected him to become the villain by the end. And in a way it was good they didn't do it because I felt like the international social political thing uh, should, like, should have been the main plot and like in introducing too many things. Um, would have confused a lot of the viewers and that's one of the reasons i loved avengers endgame that they introduced so many things into a, like a small space and it worked uh, great but in this case i feel like it like doing that was the best option like what they did with the series but yeah simo even though i expected more of his character this time around also did a great job uh especially towards the end like his plan also came through and uh that was a really good way to end his arc and i expect to see more of him in the future i think that's gonna be awesome so now it's time for the major spoilers so if you don't want to get the series spoiled just uh skip straight ahead but let's talk about uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America. I, th I think it's amazing. I loved the design of the suit, the wings, the shield. It was just incredible. And episode six was incredible in every way. Uh, seeing him shine, like, continues the legacy of Captain, Captain America. And they actually just confirmed the fourth movie with him as a protagonist. So that's going to be super interesting, and I can't wait for that. But yeah, I think the series ended greatly in that uh, respect. And I, I thought it was good. I mean, the series itself is just... Uh, I, I wish the pacing would have been better. Like, it, would, it wasn't as good. It had kind of like the same feeling as, say, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. But I wish it would have been uh, a little bit more, like, interesting in parts. Like, I feel like the Carly... Uh, personal plot got way too much screen time some other things uh, that's not to say some uh, more emotional scenes like in episode five was it's a little bit more lighthearted. i feel like that had the purpose to make sam and bucky uh, have more character development but yeah um I, I liked it overall i think the series was good so that's uh basically most of what i have to say about the falcon and the winter soldier so as a final score, I'm going to give it a 75 out of 100. I thought it was good, a great uh, chapter in the MCU. And I'm loving what uh, Marvel is doing so far. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see Black Widow. And I think like post Avengers Endgame, there is a lot of uh, space they can move and a lot of stories they can tell. And I'm glad they're continuing this universe. And that's all I have to say. So see you later.